I'm Mrs. Williver, and today is Mrs. Williver Day. Are you ready for a story? Today my story is called A Good Listener, written by Mrs. Williver and illustrated by Cassie Garwood. That's my daughter. Fillmore was a fish. Not any fish, but a goldfish. Fillmore was the pet fish in room 13. He had a very important job. He had to listen to all the kids' problems in kindergarten. He couldn't say anything to anyone because Fillmore always kept a secret. One day, Shelby came up to Fillmore. She was crying. Why did you tell Fillmore? Why did you tell Bill what I told you? Shelby asked. I don't like you anymore. Wow. Fillmore's heart started to break. I didn't tell him, he thought to himself. I always keep a secret. Fillmore started crying. Only no one could tell because he was under the water. Just then, Cassie came storming up to Fillmore. Thanks a lot, Fillmore, she shouted. Now Rebecca will never talk to me again. Fillmore got very sad. He didn't understand what was going on. Two days went by and no one came to talk to Fillmore. Fillmore laid down on the bottom of his bowl and wouldn't come up. During carpet time, Miss Lashley told the kids that she was taking Fillmore home with her because no one was paying any attention to him. Shelby stood up and said, good, because he's a tattletale. Yeah, said Cassie, he has a big mouth. Girls, said Mrs. Lashley, that was a mean thing to say. Miss Lashley noticed Melissa was upset. Melissa, what's the matter? asked Miss Lashley. Fillmore is a good listener, said Melissa. I was the one that told Bill that Shelby liked him. And I told Rebecca that Cassie thought she couldn't jump rope very well. Fillmore slowly swam up from the bottom of his bowl. His heart stopped hurting. Cassie, Shelby, and Melissa walked up to Fillmore and sat down. We're sorry, Fillmore. Will you forgive us? They asked. Fillmore jumped up out of his bowl. Of course I will forgive you, thought Fillmore. I think they love me again. Fillmore wants you to know something. The next time you want to blame somebody for something, you better know the truth first. That's for sure. Have you ever been blamed for something that you didn't even do? It didn't feel good, did it? No, it didn't. So before you blame somebody for something, and you're not even sure if, it, if they really did it, Go find the truth first. Don't make them feel bad like Fillmore. Now, another thing I want to talk about is secrets, okay? Now, this is tricky because if someone tells you a secret, oh, please don't tell, okay, don't tell so-and-so, blah, blah. You know, it's a good idea to keep that secret. You know, you don't want to get your friend in trouble or anything like that. You know, it's, it's not going to hurt anybody. But... There is a secret that you should not keep. This is very important, listen up. If the secret you're asked to, to hold is hurting somebody, or maybe it's hurting you, or, or it's gonna hurt somebody, you do not need to hold that secret inside. I want you to tell an adult that secret, okay? Go to a mom, a dad, a grandma, a grandpa, your teacher, your principal, an adult and talk to them about that secret that you're being asked to keep. If it's hurting you or hurting someone else, I want you to tell an adult. Now next time, I'm gonna teach you 
how to draw Fillmore. Are you ready for a drawing? We're going to draw in the apple direction, the apple direction, the apple direction. Put your paper in the apple direction and you'll be ready to draw with me. Okay, going to draw Fillmore the fish. This is great. Okay, now we're going to put Fillmore in the fishbowl. All right. So right on the top of your paper, I need you to draw an oval like that. That's the top of the bowl. Okay, there we go. And then inside that oval, you're going to draw another one right along the edge of the bowl like this. So there's a hole in top, on the top of the bowl. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now remember, if you're not happy with that shape, turn it over, start again. All right. You don't need to erase it. This makes the paper look messy. Okay. Now we're going to make a bowl. A fish bowl. We're going to come out from here. Now we want to make that bowl pretty big. Okay. And then we're going to come back up here like that. Now if it looks kind of wobbly, uh, you know, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're just having fun. Just having fun. I hope you're going to go have fun today drawing. No stress. Why are your Mrs. Wilder smiles? Okay. All right. Now we're going to put Fillmore inside the bowl. Okay. We want to make a circle. Now I know he's kind of big. Fish aren't that big in the bowl. I know that. They're really tiny little goldfish. But I draw big. I need Fillmore to be a good size, okay? Now on the right hand side here, we're going to put the number three. We're going to put his lips. The number three. There you go. Number three. All right, that's, those are his lips. Those aren't his fins. And what we're going to do now is come over here and draw kind of a a moon shape there, rainbow shape there, to separate his scales from where his eye is going to be. Okay, we're going to put one eye. How many eyes? One. One eye and one pupil right here so we can see. Okay, there we go. And now on top, okay, on top of his head, we're going to make a fin. We're going to come this way up and curve like that. All right. And then we're going to come straight down into Fillmore's body. Okay, now come to the bottom fin. We're going to curve over this way. Curve. And then we're going to come straight up to the top, to the body. There you go. Okay, now the back fin is a little difficult, challenging. I like to say challenging. We're going to come out like this, right from the back here. Let's make sure you can see. You're going to come out with a shape like that. Okay, out. Then you're going to come in but not all the way in okay leave some leave some space now what if you came right in all the way is that okay yes we can work with that no big deal there's never making mistakes or doing things wrong on mrs wolver day we're just trying our best okay now come back we're going to come down not out again but down see how i did that 
down. And then you're going to come all the way back in to Fillmore's body. Okay, and there's the his back fin. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, if you need to catch up, please hit the pause button. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Now, we want to make his scales inside his body. Okay, now the scales go like this. They're just bumps. And see how big I make them. We don't want little tiny bumps. You're going to bump from one side of his body to the other side. From the top to the bottom. You're going to bump like that. Okay? Remember to bump silently in your head. Not out loud for everyone to hear. Okay? Then we're going to make another row. Okay? Come and bump right to the middle of that bump. To the middle of that bump. To the middle of that one. Now this takes practice. Okay? I have a mermaid that we're going to be doing. Oh, very far. Long time. A lot of lessons to go in between the mermaid. Okay? But we're going to put scales on her as well. So we want to practice. Practice. Bump. And there. And we want to just keep going until we have that entire area filled up with scales. Okay, you're going to be doing, trying your best, I hope. I don't want you to get frustrated if it looks crazy. Don't worry. It's just a fish. Okay. Wonderful. Now, we're going to put a couple of bubbles here up from his, his uh, mouth. We're also going to put right on top, we're going to put the waves of the water. Okay? Waves, kind of just like what we were doing with the scales, bumping like this. Okay? From one side to the other side, so we know he's in the blue water when we get ready to color him. All right? Now, it looks like his bowl is just flying on our paper, and we, we can't have that. We need a horizon line in our paper. It's going to be the table that he's sitting on in the classroom. Okay, so right here, from the middle of the bowl, you're going to make a horizontal line, a horizon line right there. But we're not going to draw it all the way through, even though maybe you could probably see it anyway through the water probably could but we're not going to do that we're just going to come follow it behind our fishbowl and to the end of our paper okay and then that's the table that he's sitting on okay and there's Fillmore okay I need to put your pencils down look down at your paper and say wow I did a great job. Okay, now look at your neighbor's paper or look at my paper and say, wow, you did a great job too. Are we having fun now? Yes, we're having fun now. We're having a very nice day. Are we having fun now? Yes, we're having fun now. We're having a nice Mrs. Wolliver day. Learning to draw the Mrs. Wolliver way. Until next time, keep drawing. <laughs>